Coach, kind of following up what I asked you about last week, and uh, it seems like, and I know you mentioned it some on the post-game show, but it seems like Rams was, was getting in the lane more uh, and being more aggressive and obviously got, got to the free throw line a pretty good bit. Yeah, especially uh, there late when <clears throat> we were trying to make a run. Uh, the majority of his free throw attempts were in the second half, if I'm not mistaken. Well, they had to be. We didn't shoot a free throw in the first half. <laughs> But when we were trying to, you know, make a run and, and um, have a chance to win the game, he was super aggressive and not only got in the lane for himself, got fouled, but you know he created for others as well. And um, you know we need more of that. You know I, we've got to do a better job as a staff of, of putting him in those positions in different ways to try to take advantage of his skill set. And um, hopefully that will happen in the next couple of games. Chris, I think, you know, if your guys' losses all but one has been, you know, by single digits, I guess, you know, what's kind of the message to the team of, you know, obviously you're upset with the results, but, you know, also trying to understand, like, pretty close in some of these road games and, and you feel like you're a few shots away from, from being able to break through? You know, we were confident uh, heading into both of these games on the road. I told them before we left and reminded them um, a couple of times before we tipped that we expected to win this game you know, talking about the Georgia game Wednesday and then the Auburn game on Saturday that uh, our goal was to, to be 2-0 after this trip. And we had a good couple of days of preparation for each particular game. And um, I say it all the time, and I know it's coach speak, but at the end of the day, it always comes down to a handful of plays that um, impact the final result. And that both these games had a handful of plays that uh, severely impacted the result and unfortunately you know we weren't on the uh, correct part if you will of, uh, of the play and um, the one thing that we talked a lot about pre-game during the game post game was our fight um, our togetherness in order to win games in this league regardless if you're home or away um, you better have that unless of course you have superior talent and sometimes you know, it doesn't matter if one has so much talent compared to, to the other team, but um, that wasn't the case this week. Um, you know, we were right there and had opportunities and um, we just didn't get it done. But like I told them post game, you know, I love being a coach. We got great kids. Um, by and large, they work hard every day. They got the right approach. Um, they got really good togetherness. They want to win in the worst way. They're very disappointed, uh, upset, and but I don't think they're dejected. I don't think they're like, oh, what was me or the season's over. Um, you know, they want to do better. They want to do right and, and they want to win and um, they want to be rewarded for their hard work. And um, so we'll see how this week goes. Go to Danny Peter, coach just left. Coach, I know it's only been a couple of weeks since you faced Tennessee, and you know, in a short amount of time, how much can you uh, learn from that game and, and go, go into tomorrow night? Yeah, um, you know, that was the game where we talked about it in this very room where we didn't show them any clips of that particular game, and I hadn't done that in a long, long time as a head coach. I don't remember the last time, actually, that I didn't but we just felt like at that point in that juncture in the uh, schedule that it wouldn't be much positive come about it. Now, uh, we're having to go back and watch it now in preparation for this game. And, um, it was just a combination of Tennessee playing really, really, really well and getting hot early and feeling good and the basket looking bigger and us getting off to a horrible start. and. Um, and, you know, we just dug ourselves such a deep hole on the road against such a good team that, you know, we had a little chance um, to actually win the game at that point as you look back and watch it. But, um, you know, we're, we're, I think we've gotten better since then. Uh, you know, we're not getting them at the right time, if you will. Certainly when we saw the result Saturday afternoon before our game, we were focused on our game, but we're humans and we're like, well, that probably wasn't the best. Uh, outcome for us considering um, you know it was the first loss in SEC play and it was a home and I'm sure Coach Barnes and the staff are rallying the troops
troops and uh, you know trying to get that taste out of their mouth but you know it is what it is and um, in the end that kind of stuff kind of dissipates pretty quickly now it probably helped with their focus and their preparation but you know the rah-rah motivation stuff kind of goes away in my opinion at, after the first few minutes of the game and then you play and execute and compete and you know fall back on your training